and welcome to another edition of Pause. I'm Niall Davis and joining me again are Jamie Meffin and Ross Hen. Here's what we've got coming up in today's show. Coming up, we'll be looking at the trailers for Grown Ups 2, I was inside you! The Lone Ranger, <laughs> and Gravity. Okay, the first trailer we've got today is The Grown Ups 2 by Dennis Dugan. Remember we used to come here after we got wasted. What's wasted? Uh, when you have a hankering for ice cream. Well, I want to get wasted. I want to get totally wasted. I want to get chocolate wasted. Oh! How did you become a cop after all that crap we did growing up? Put your hands in the air. And wave them like you just don't care. Say ho! Oh! Say ho! Ross, what do you think of the Oscar bait that is oh. The Grown Ups 2? Don't even joke. Oh, it just looks. The first one was poor. Yeah. I don't know how it's even got a sequel, to be honest. I mean, I, was it's there a, a sequel? Demand for it because it's made 200 and like 50 million. Yeah. But I don't know how. It's just because they've got Chris Rock, David Spade, Adam Sandler, and. Yeah, it just, it just looks. Or, I know can it's really you, harsh, but I can don't you know find the, anything in it? I don't know. For some gonna... people, it's like the first one's become kind of a, maybe like a cult kind of. It's so bad, it's good. That kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Because so, I just I was really unimpressed. I, I mean, I know a lot of people. Adam Sandler recently hasn't done some particularly great films. Um, not necessarily really even Kevin James. I mean, a few of them. They're all kind of like you know, going around middle the age. Yeah, yeah, it's not particularly. But you'd hope that the amount of people in there that between them that come up with a good film, and I just was not impressed with it at all. So Obviously, they've the got the Hollywood, the Hollywood star they Taylor Lorna. As well, so now they've put Cut pulled in. Up. Yeah, so again, not impressed with it at all. The trailer, so yeah, I'm not expecting anything. That's out on the 9th of August. Uh, so yeah, go see that one. Are you talking that horse? Why am I covered in dirt? I buried you. Why am I alive? Eight men rode into canyon. I dug seven graves. Horse says you are a spirit walker. A man who has been to the other side and returned. A man who cannot be killed in battle. Something very wrong with that horse. So that was The Lone Ranger, uh, directed by Gore Verbinski, who also did the Pirates of the Caribbean films. Jamie. Uh, not a fan of the Pirates of the Caribbean films myself, so that's not that's not like, what sells it for me. When I heard about it, I wasn't necessarily, can't wait to see that. But having watched the trailer, I actually will definitely go and see it because I think it looks good, in my opinion. I know there's a, a huge budget on it, so it'll do well to make that back. But as with the Pirates of the Caribbean, they make billions, so I'm sure they'll do good. I, I, I'm really happy that Army Hammer's got a big part in it because the social network, I, uh, he was in that, and I thought it was a really good breakout performance for him. But since then, he's not done too many things that and that was 2010, so I'm really happy he's got this. Obviously, this is going to be a, a huge yeah, like, repel with having Johnny Depp alongside it. So I'm hoping that it is kind of an equal footing rather than them concentrating on Johnny Depp because it's so easy to do that. But so I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I don't really think it's going to be that good. It looks what? very. Samey as mm. Pirates of the Caribbean, and it's Hugely. it's gonna be sort of dark but fun, which is, seems to what Johnny Depp does all the time now. Mm. Yeah, it's just interchangeable kind of characters, yeah, isn't it? Uh, and scenery. It's just gone from the high seas to the west, pirates to cowboys and Indians. Yeah, and Helena Bonham Carter's in it, as always. Got so. pop up. Uh, we are huge action set pieces. Yeah, 
like that well yeah I mean the budget for 250 I know there's a lot of budget that goes on these sort of movies but 250 million is quite steep and I'm sure they'll make it back but mm. whether whether I, I've got high hopes for it I think it I think it looks pretty good but yeah. so this is also on the 9th of August will you be seeing this yeah I, I think you should go see it yeah, yeah. Lone Ranger or um, too. <laughs> oh, don't give me that choice. Um, <laughs> I would, I would go see a Lone Ranger because there's potential, but I just from the trailer, what I've gathered from it, I don't think it's. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it'll be a good popcorn fan. Mm, yeah, I think so. so. Okay, right. Well, here's the next trailer: Gravity by Alfonso Cuarón. Beautiful, don't you think? What? The sunrise. Terrific. by Alfonso Cuaron uh, then The Children of Men which in my opinion was a great film uh, this stars Sandra Bullock and George Clooney are you looking forward to it Jamie? Uh, <laughs> no. no no I wasn't that yeah when I heard about it I thought oh this has got potential to be quite cool but now I, I'm watching the trailer I wasn't that blown away I've got a feeling it might I thought Solaris just because of the connection with George Clooney and that is widely known as a bit of a pants film um, but yeah, so I, I'm not particularly keen. It just looks a bit like it, there could be long periods in the film where it could get a bit boring. In um, my opinion, only in my opinion. Yeah. I know you've got a, a yeah, bit, well, bit more optimistic. I'm going to stop being opinion. grumpy today. Actually, say that I like this. I, I like the look at this film. Yeah. I think I think it's good. Like it's it's very sort of it's weird. It's set in space, obviously, so it's wide open, but it looks really claustrophobic. And yeah. like when you watch it, it's going to be like, oh my god. Yeah. The, um, the expanse of space, but yeah. the claustrophobia of the suit yeah. is really what yeah. the space they're inhabiting, isn't it? And judging by the trailer, it looks like it's predominantly just going to be them two, the whole film. And I kind of like them films where it just focuses on two characters, and there's not really many. Else. Or even just one. I mean, yeah, even, one. even yeah. looking at the trailer, though, it seems to have like a clear beginning, middle, at the end. Yeah. Of the trailers, yeah. it's like so. It's intriguing to see where they're going to go. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't even t entirely sure. If Clooney survived the trailer. Yeah, that's yeah. why I'm, <laughs> never that's why the rest I'm slightly of the worried by it because the, the, the initial concept when I heard about it, I thought really interesting. But yeah. from the trailer, it does to me seem. I'm sure there's surprises, but it does seem a bit like, where are they going to go with it? I just yeah. feel like I'm going to get there, bored. There's clearly only one way it can end. Is, is yeah. there? Yeah. Sure. No, I, I think it looks good because it's. I suppose it's going to be billed as a sci-fi, but is it? Because all it's, you're not going to see any aliens or anything. No, it's literally just so two people not. going out to space. So yeah. I, I think it's got potential. I, I think it looks good. Yeah, yeah. and the acting talent behind it, obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. definitely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. If, if you're going to pick two people who, yeah, who, who are going to really have to carry a film, yeah, 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 that's it. yeah that'd be good. Good choice. Yeah. Okay, well, that's out on the fourth of October. So, Ross, you going to see it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Also, I'm don't think I was as optimistic as you guys, but yeah, I'll definitely go and see it. Yeah. Well, that's the end of our show. Uh, thank you for joining us and for all your insightful opinions today. Uh, thank you for watching and tune in next week where we'll be talking about Two Guns, The Wolf of Wall Street and 4-2, The Dark World. <laughs>